Summer has arrived, and Appalachian Wireless has a great sale on the world's hottest smartphone from now to the end of the month. You can get the amazing iPhone 13 for more than half off because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Floyd County observed Flag Day on Tuesday morning with members of the DAV, VFW, and Boy Scouts joining local officials and the public to mark the 245th anniversary of the adoption of the U.S. flag. Floyd County Judge Executive Robbie Williams says these observances are important. The flag to us is, uh, it, it represents our country, our freedom, what, what our veterans in the past, uh, what they fought for. Uh, we have a war memorial over here, we have a hundred names on it. From World War II, through the Vietnam War, those are folks who've given their lives in defense of our freedom and our country. So to me, Flag Day represents more than just another holiday. It, it represents what the fabric of this country. Okay. Williams also used the occasion to take a step to make sure that veterans who face struggles when they return home get the help they need. Williams and District 1 Magistrate Mark Kreider presented a $50,000 check to Prestonsburg's VFW Post 5839 to help pay for completion of a homeless shelter for veterans. The shelter has been under construction for several years and, like most things, was delayed by the pandemic. Now the facility is nearly finished and the contribution from the fiscal court is expected to put it over the top. In addition to offering homeless veterans a place to stay, the facility will also be used by Floyd County's Drug Court for Veterans. And these are some of the things that we, that we as residents of Floyd County, elected officials, that we need to be doing to help get these families back on track and these folks integrated back into society. We just don't need to lock them up, throw away the key, and, and, and move on with life. We need, we, there's so much more that these, these folks can, can accomplish. They just, we have to make it a little easier for them to transition back into society. And we certainly think the homeless shelter is one of the ways. That... Money for the donation came from Cole Severance tax funds. VFW Post Commander Paul Edwards says the shelter should be ready to open its doors next year.